My goodness, there are a lot of people here today. That's good. That's good. Now, let me, let me ask that you all stand, all stand for the presentation of colors by the Jaguar ROTC Battalion, and then the singing of the Star Spangled Banner by Dr. Bill Hobbins, professor of music, accompanied by the Wind Ensemble at Augusta State University. And the bright stars through the perilous fight. For the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Please be seated.
Dr. Johnson, Dr. Evans, Dr. Richley, Mr. Williams, faculty and staff, and ladies and gentlemen, and of course, all of our candidates for graduation, good morning. My name is Bill Bloodworth. I am president of the university, and I'm the presiding officer at this ceremony, which is called commencement. Commencement actually means beginning. And so today, we recognize the success of what students have done in the past, but we also celebrate the beginnings of new chapters in their lives. But as we, as we celebrate, we, we must abide by some rules, uh, two in particular. First, uh, please keep your cell phones turned off. And second, and this is for all of our guests in the audience, please keep the aisles clear. It, uh, if you stand up in the aisles, it blocks the view of others, and it also violates the fire code. So let me, let me begin this ceremony by first addressing all of our guests. I want to thank you for coming this morning. I know some of you have come a long way, and all of you have come because you're proud of someone who is graduating today. Many of you have given of your time, your love, your advice, and your money to make college graduation possible for someone else. And for such gifts as you have bestowed upon our graduates, I can't possibly thank you enough. And I trust that those whom you honor today with your presence are deeply and forever grateful for your support. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And let me, let me ask our graduates if they will stand and applaud you those people who have supported him so many years. Graduates, please stand. Give a round of applause for people. Thank you very much. Now, this is to the graduates. You'll notice, you'll notice that uh, many of your professors are here with you, seated down front and dressed in ways that you don't ordinarily see them. Uh, to honor you, they have put on their academic regalia. It's, it's not, this is not the coolest of garments to wear in the American South, but it's still pretty cool that they have done that. And as I think you know, our faculty members and our non-faculty staff have worked very hard over the years to make your graduation possible. So what I'd like for all of our faculty members to do to stand. Will you please stand? And also, any of our staff members who are here, please stand. And I'd like, these are the people who make graduation possible for students, and I'd like all of you to give them a round of applause. Thank you, thank you. Now, we hold this ceremony today because our graduates have accomplished something that's important for themselves, but they haven't done it just for themselves. In the same way that a rising tide floats all boats, a, a single person's achievement of the level of learning represented by a college degree raises everyone's hopes for the future. So this is a very good thing. And it's why we celebrate graduation the way we do. Now, among our graduates, there are some special categories. Some of our baccalaureate, baccalaureate candidates are graduating with academic honors. These honors have, they have Latin names, uh, cum laude, magna cum laude, and, and summa cum laude. And the Latin terms mean with praise, with great praise, and with highest praise. But actually, you know, all of our graduates deserve praise. But those who are graduating with honors deserve special praise. So I'd like to ask all of our graduates who are graduating with baccalaureate degrees with honors to please stand. Please stand. All who are graduating with honors.
Thank you. Now, now, 10, 10 of our baccalaureate graduates this year have uh, made the highest possible grade in all of their courses. Uh, we have 10 persons graduating this year with baccalaureate degrees who have never made a grade lower than A. And as a result, we have, we have 10 valedictorians this year. One, one Ms. Ms. Jill Bono finished her degree last summer and she's not listed in the program, but the other nine are listed in the program and I'd like to read their names and ask, ask each one to stand, provided of course that the person is here, and then we'll applaud all of them. Uh, Michael James Ansley, Miranda Diane Barony, Cheryl Boucher, Ansley Elizabeth Carter, Jessica Claire Cohen, Skyler Rebecca Hendricks, Hannah Perkey, Mary Beth Charlotte Sutton, and Jeffrey Adam Toomer. Please give them a round of applause. I also want to recognize another small but very special group of graduates. And these are three graduates who yesterday, having successfully completed the Jaguar ROTC program, were commissioned as second lieutenants in the United States Army. And as a result, these three Augusta State graduates will now go forward to help ensure this nation's defense and security. So I would like to ask them to stand. I'm going to mention each name, and we'll applaud all three of them. Lieutenant Angelia Patitucci McCafferty. <laughs> Lieutenant, Lieutenant Sylvia Sim. And Lieutenant, Lieutenant Jacob White. A round of applause for them, please. Thank you. We, we've dimmed some of the lights now just so that we could uh, place more emphasis on the people up here on the platform. The first person who needs that emphasis is uh, someone who will bring greetings from the Augusta State University Alumni Association to our newest alumni, who happen to be all of our graduates today who are earning their first degree from Augusta State University. And his name is Mr. Adam Williams. He, uh, he received a degree in accounting here nine years ago. He's now a certified public accountant in Augusta with the Cleveland Group. And he is here to bring greetings to our newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Adam Williams. Thank you, Dr. Bloodworth. Like he said, I am proud to bring you all greetings um, from the group that you all become a part of today, the Augusta State University Alumni Association. There are currently 35,000 of us from Augusta State University, the College of Augusta College, and the Junior College of Augusta. We are a very diverse group. We are educated, we are determined, we are committed to our alma mater, and we are the Jaguar Nation. And today I'm proud to say we are you. Please don't view today as the end of your relationship with this wonderful university. There are endless opportunities to give back to the place that has given us so much. To graduate from ASU is a great honor and no small accomplishment. It means you have accomplished many goals and that you've committed to continue learning and encouraging others around you to do the same. So I encourage you to brag about what you've accomplished and about your alma mater. Wear your blue and white proudly and learn how you can stay connected through the Alumni Association. Congratulations and best wishes on all your endeavors. And most importantly, go Jags. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> thank you, Adam. Thank you for serving as president of the Alumni Association, and, and thank, you, thank you for your remarks this morning. Uh, we, we are now at the, the point in our ceremony where ordinarily I would be introducing a commencement speaker, uh, describing the speaker's accomplishments and suggesting that the speaker could be a role model for our graduates. But that's not happening this morning because I'm the person to deliver a few remarks and you already know who I am. You, you probably also know that I've been president of Augusta State University for quite a long time and will be stepping down as president in a few weeks. So this is the last commencement over which I will preside. I've, I've done so 29 times before. And uh, it, it's always been a special privilege and, and a great joy. Hey, wait, 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 no, no. no. It's been, a, it's been a great joy because I've been able to be up on this stage and, and shake hands with thousands of men and women who have been honored and celebrated by their accomplishments as graduates of this university. And about, about my accomplishments, let me just say that some of my most important accomplishments, at least to the degree that my work as president has contributed to the business of teaching and learning at Augusta State University. Some of my most important accomplishments are actually, they're actually seated in front of me today in the form of our graduates. And it is, it is our graduates to whom I wish to direct my remarks this morning. I understand, of course, that there are other people here, parents, friends, my wife, Julia, faculty and staff, and all of you are welcome to listen to what I say to the graduates, but I really want to talk to them. And so when I use the pronoun you from now on, I'll be referring to you, the graduates, not, not to everybody else here. And I want to talk to you about some things that I know about you. And, and while doing this, offer an occasional suggestion that you might consider as you move forward in life. So what do I know about you? I know for one thing that there are a lot of you. Now, not all of the graduating class members are here this morning. Uh, for instance, our women's golf team is not here this morning, but I know where they are, and I hope they're making a lot of birdies. But those of you who are here today represent a graduating class of over 1,100 human beings, ranging in age from age 21 to 64. So you are a lot of people, a lot of human potential, a lot of potential for success, and also, let's not forget this, some potential for failure. I know that over 300 of you have earned graduate degrees, which means that I may have shaken hands with some of you at an earlier commencement. If so, I'm certainly pleased to see you again. I'm also pleased to know that a, a few of you were students in my own classes. Most of you today are receiving baccalaureate degrees. Those are degrees that have the word bachelor in them. And uh, by the way, uh, that word, bachelor, as the name of an academic degree does not refer to an unmarried man. As the name of a degree, it has a, a much older meaning, about a thousand years old, referring to someone preparing for particular duties in life. And I don't know why the word began to be used a few centuries later to describe an unmarried man, but it did. But I wanted to clarify that term today because most of you who are about to become bachelors of arts or bachelors of science or bachelors of something else are not men. Neither are most of you who are about to become masters of something men. More than 69% of you, more than 69% of the 1,100 of you are women. In fact, in fact, in fact, the percentage 
the percentage of women among U.S. graduates exceeds the percentage of women among our students in general. And we need to stop and think about this for a minute. The men among us may especially need to think about it. Women, it would appear, are more successful at earning college degrees than men are. And that's true at places besides ASU. I don't have a really good explanation for this. I certainly don't think that women, that women are born smarter than men. But when we see, as we do today, that women may have learned better lessons than men, and are therefore getting themselves through college better than men, we see, we see a problem in our society. And you know what? It's up to the guys to fix it. And when I see what I see in front of me today, what I see is not just women and men, but I see women and men from 24 different countries. Most of you, of course, are born and bred citizens of the United States. But others of you hail from such places as Bosnia, Herzegovina, Haiti, Nigeria, Romania, and Uganda. So as a group, you've got an international flavor. You're, you're global to some degree. And this, and this is good because our world is becoming more international and more global every day. It's also a world that runs on money. And about, about you in terms of money, I know that some of you are graduating with considerable student loan debt. Not all of you, but many of you. And this is something worth thinking about. Student loan debt in this nation now exceeds a trillion dollars. That's a lot of debt. It's more debt than the debt of all credit cards in the United States. And none of it, none of that student loan debt can be discharged or reduced by filing for bankruptcy. It's a financial burden that many students carry with them after college. I've actually looked at, at some of the details of your debt. And I was relieved to see that the average student loan debt among graduates falls here, falls considerably below the maximum allowed by the federal government. And for this, you can thank the relatively low tuition that students in Georgia pay to go to college at state universities. Also, if your loan debt is less than what it could be, thank yourself for finishing college before the debt got greater. And you can give some advice to others. Tell others not to prolong their college experience just because loans are available. Those loans may look like easy money, but they're not easy to pay off. Now, let me tell you one more thing that I know about you. Something that's actually more important than your numbers, your gender, your nationality, or your debt. The one more thing about you that I know for sure is that you're graduating from Augusta State University, and you're doing so in the last year of this institution's existence as Augusta State University. Therefore, therefore, as a graduate of this university, where the expectations of you have been high, where your work as a student has actually been hard, and where high grades have not been easy, you're pretty well prepared for success. Success, of course, is not guaranteed. And the current economic difficulties in our country may hinder your pursuit of happiness. Pursuit of happiness. You've heard that phrase before. Thomas Jefferson included it in the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence as one of those, one of three unalienable rights that he believed human beings enjoyed as an endowment from God. I think that when Jefferson used that term, happiness, he meant something besides pleasure or romantic love or self-esteem. I think he meant something like prosperity or good living. 
That's probably what Mr. Jefferson believed we have the right to pursue. In your case, that pursuit will be aided by your education. Statistics alone, statistics alone tell us that you will earn more money, have better health, drink less alcohol, and spend much less time in jails and prisons if you're a college graduate. Now, such benefits are not automatic. But if your feet, if your feet still feel a little warm because they were held to the fire of course requirements at ASU, that means that they're also a little tougher for walking down the road ahead of you. And going down that road, which at times, of course, will be uphill, you'll have countless opportunities to show others the way. If family life is ahead of you, you'll be able to show your children, or if family life is already with you, you'll be able to show your children that way. And we know that happens. One of the best predictors of success in college and in life is to be the child of a college graduate. I had to make my way without that benefit. But if or when you have children, you will give that benefit to them. And since you have made your way through a university whose students are diverse and in some, to some extent international, you should go far in our increasingly diverse and international world. And you know, it just might be that you will go farther in that world because you know more about it than most people do. After all, a course in world humanities is a requirement for a baccalaureate or associate degree at Augusta State University. At, at the beginning of my remarks, I, I said something to the fact that, that you, as graduates of the university where I, as president, have had some role in teaching and learning that you might be considered as part of my accomplishments in life. And that statement may have, seemed a, may have sounded a little odd, but I think it's true. And it has special meaning for me. It means that your, accomplish, your accomplishments in life, from, from this time on, from this time forward, your, your human performance as graduates of this institution may be the best measure of my performance as president. In other words, what you do from this point forward can be considered as an evaluation of my work as president of ASU for almost 19 years. You know what? I'd like to have a good evaluation. I'd really like to have a good evaluation of that kind. I'd love to have a good evaluation of that kind measured by what you do as graduates of this institution. And I think I will. In spite of the economic challenges that you'll face, in spite of all the technological changes still ahead of you and all of us, in spite of the problems from which our world continues to suffer, I think that your work as members of society as a human being responsible for yourself and for others will be good. And I think it will be good because you spent some time as a student during the final years of Augusta State University, the last years of what was first Augusta College and then ASU, a university dedicated to doing its best for students like you. I'm terrifically proud of what you have done what you have done as students at Augusta State University. And so as you go forward, please keep up the good work. Don't forget where you came from, and be sure to remember all those who helped you along the way. And thank you very much for listening to me today. And now it's my responsibility and my pleasure to call upon Dr. Carol Richley, the Vice President for Academic Affairs at Augusta State University, to present our candidates for graduation. Dr. 
Yeah, we're getting to that point. Dr. Joyce Jones, Vice President for Student Services and Dean of Students, and Dr. Hubert Van Toul, Professor of History and Chair of the Department of History, Anthropology, and Philosophy, will read the names of those who walk across our stage this morning. Uh, and they'll be assisted by Ms. Therese Rozier, Vice President for Business Operations, Ms. Catherine Sweeney, Registrar and Director of Admissions, and Mr. Adam Williams will help with the awarding of diploma. So now, Dr. Richley. Thank you, Mr. President. At this time, it is my pleasure to present candidates for graduate degrees from each of our colleges. We will begin with the College of Education. The College of Education offers the graduate degree specialist in education, which is the highest degree offered by Augusta State. The college also offers graduate degrees of Master of Education, Master of Arts in Teaching, and Master of Science in Kinesiology. Candidates for these degrees have been recommended by the faculty in the Department of Educational Leadership, Counseling, and Special Education, the Department of Teacher Education, and the Department of Kinesiology and Health Science. Candidates for the Specialist in Education degree will now come forward. President Bloodworth will present each with his or her diploma, and then Dr. Paula Dahoney, Interim Dean of the College of Education, will greet each graduate as he or she leaves the stage. Anton Anthony. <laughs> Hillary Bennett. <laughs> Carolyn Campbell. <laughs> Monica Curry. Shell Ann Duto, Amy Harrison, Vanessa Lozada, Latasha Lucas. Sean Middleton, Shauna Pastor Price, Samaritan Simmons. Angela Stokes, Amanda Story, Chandra Williams, Shamika Barnes. Yolanda Bonner. Shirley Bowman. awarding degrees for the candidates for the Masters of Education, Masters of Arts in Teaching, and Master of Science in Kinesiology. Will the rest of those people please come forward to receive their diplomas and then be greeted by Dr. Dahoney. 
Crystal Champion. Tamika Collins. Charles Cook III. Crystalia Cook. Brian Dixon. Tamika England. Latanya Evans. Stacy Fowers. April Freeney. Jartress Gaines. Janine Griffin. Danielle Harris. Patty Hill. Andrew Romiak. Jessica Mack. Carrie Ogletree. Florina Rogers. Tamara Schaefer. Crystal Stevens. Katina Thomas. Tamiko Whaley. Brunette Williams. Tracy Williams. Shelly Wolf. Kristen Woodward. Dorothy Widener Alton. Adrian Bonds. Samantha Bryant. Demetrius Collins. Jason Ferguson. Carl Green. Stephanie Griffin. Rebecca Houston. Janine Honeycutt. Brittany Hunt. Jabari Levi. Woo! 
Aaron Meeker. Amanda Monet. Justin Morris. Joseph Nickel, Jr. Lisbeth O'Connell Kleba. Lindsay Seep. Michael Parsons. Latrice Pinckney. April Whitehead. Jacqueline Williams. Brett Gunn. Miriam Hosman. Evan Smith. Sharnisha Smith. Sage Woodham. Amanda Yule. The Hull M. College of Business offers a graduate degree, Master of Business Administration. Candidates for this degree, having been recommended by the faculty, will now come forward. President Bloodworth will present the diploma to each graduate, and then Dr. Mark Miller, Dean of the Hull College of Business, will greet the graduates as they leave the stage. Just a little technical problem here. What are we doing? Miss Sweeney will fix it. <laughs> Misty Allen. Abdallah Amadou, Vivian Barrientos, Ashley Bethune, Brandon Burnside, Amanda Farr. Michael Freeman. Scott Gillum. Michael Goodridge. Reginald Harris. Gordon Jackson the third. Laura Buchanan Jimenez.
Jennifer Mansell. Heather McCoy. James Mintz. John Rodriguez. Jillian Rumba Fritz. Steven Stagall. Christopher Sweat. Elise Washington. Jordan Watwood. William Welch. The Catherine Reese Pamplin College of Arts and Sciences offers graduate degrees Master of Science in Psychology and Master of Public Administration. Candidates for these degrees have been recommended by faculty in the departments of psychology and political science. All candidates for these degrees will now come forward. President Bloodworth will present the diploma and then Dr. Skip Clark, Dean of the Pamplin College, will greet the graduates as they leave the stage. Cindy Borges Suarez. Stephanie McCollum. Selena McLaughlin. Rajalakshmi Parameshwaran. Tiffany Noya. Niju Phillip. Kelly Seagraves. Ashley Stevenson. Sherry Darden. Deshaun Lattimore. Linda Metcalf. Timothy Williams, Jr. It is now my responsibility and a great pleasure to present the candidates for baccalaureate and associate degrees as recommended by the faculty. I will ask candidates to rise as I announce each degree. Please listen carefully so that you can stand when your degree is announced. First, the baccalaureate degrees. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts in Foreign Language, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Education, Bachelor of Science in Kinesiology, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Social Work, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Second, the Associate Degrees. Associate of Arts in Core Curriculum, Associate of Science in Core Curriculum, 
Associate of Applied Science and Criminal Justice. Ladies and gentlemen, Augusta State University is a place of high expectations, and as the Chief Academic Officer of the University, I'm pleased and proud that these students have met and exceeded those expectations. And it is now time for these candidates to walk across our stage. Please come forward. Dr. Bloodworth will present to you your diploma, and it will be my pleasure to greet each of you as you leave the stage. Brooke Adams. Patricia Adams. Marsha Alvernez. Perry Ahrensman. Keisha Armour. Marlinda Atwood. Christy Banks. Lindsay Barber. Terrence Barber. Miranda Barony. Mosby Barley. Shantae Gray Beasley. Ty Beal. Mary Betancourt. Alicia Bland. Abigail Blankenship. Xiomara Bonilla. Cody Brecht. Jacqueline Brill. William Broughton. Ashley Brown. Brittany Brown. Catherine Bruce. Hoke Brunson. Tangi Burnett. Ashley Calbert. Bianca Calloway. Christina Campbell. Shaheen Candelaria. Victoria Carnell. Curtis Carver. Gordon Carver. Shakita Chestnut.
Melissa Clark. Catherine Collingsworth. Kara Crawford. Chanel Cunningham. Carmelita Dawson. Lauren DeVille. Hope Dorman. Robert Downing. Bernie Doyle. Maxine DuMornay. Alicia Duncan. Stephanie Dial. Anna Esch. Shatavia Ellis. Amal Elmore. Bishina Exame. Carrie Faulkner Armentrout. Derek Fikes. Lee Flincham. Shawana Frazier. Brandy Freeman. Stephanie Gaffney. William Gaynor. Ashley Gardner. Ashley Gills. Jane Gervin. Shelly Glass. Blair Godfrey. John Green. Asha Gwynn. Rakesha Hamilton. Nathan Hanbury. Katie Harden. Latoya Hardman. Kelly Harris. Nicholas Harris. Megan Hawes Bright. Aaron Healy. Anna Hendon.
Stephanie Hill. Rachel Hodges. Gloria Holloway. Janae House. Jasmine Halsey. Sainab Ibrahim. Amy Jackson. Ingrid Jackson. LaShonda Jackson. Venus Jackson. John Yetta Hill. Jasmine James. Tamariah Jennings. Jasmine Johnson. Meredith Johnson. Patricia Johnson. Tia Johnson. Angelita Jordan. Baranata Kara. Amy Kaler. Lauren Kellums. Kathleen Kennedy. Carrie King. Megan King. Stephen Kitchens. Jonathan Knight. Natalie Lanham. Megan Lawson. David Lee. Jayshree Lee. Latoya Lee. Jamie Lagulon. William Lynn. Chad Masters. Patrick May. Amber McLaughlin. Heather McMichael. Tiffany Metter. Irina Melnick. Damon Miller. 
Robert Miller. Shaquana Monk. Fallon Montgomery. Glenn Moody. Livia Morris. Lindsay Nichols. <laughs> Ashley Painter. <laughs> Tatiana Papich. <laughs> Michael Parton. Vanessa Patterson. Rose Patton. Matthew Perkins. Adrian Pigford. Jonathan Pigford. Caitlin Pittman. Lance Pitts. Michael Payne. Stephen Price. Jasmine Randolph. Nicole Rangel. William Reese. Claire Reeves. Halbert Richardson. Lonnie Roberts. Kathleen Robinson. Albert Rocha. Lindsay Rogilio. Michelle Roque. Lauren Saul. Frank Schmidt. Molly Say. Patricia Seymour Thigpen. Carrie Schultz. Kiana Simmons. Chase Singleton. Andrea Smith. Brian Smith. Nicole Smith.
Brittany Snell. Valeria Wabianki. Aisha Spikes. Megan Steinberg. Elliot Stewart. Nicholas Stitt. Kimberly Sutton. Elizabeth Taylor. Ryan Taylor. Brian Thigpen. Mario Tuman. Kiera Turner. Melissa Tyler. Holly Veal. Tammy Vickery. Jessica Warren. Malika Washington. Thomas Weeks. Stacy Wells. Mary Westbrook. Arrington Weston. Jacob White. Kayla White. Bobby Wicks. Zachary Williams. Laura Vinson. Michael Wilson. Jarkella Woods. Tanya Wren. April Young. Noel Yukas. Kristen Argetas. Marisol Mitchell. Victor Gutierrez. Tanya McGowan. Joanna Ordonez. Orlet Schubert. Ashley Stacy.
Itza Walters. Katrina Wright. Amanda Swanziger. Trenton Agrelius. Stephanie Adjamain. Jerry Alexander. Mariam Aslami. Wesley Black. Zachary Bloomer. Justin Boyington. Linda Burnett. James Campbell. Winford Chambers. Tyler Chavis. Matthew Coleman. Blake Corbett. Lee Corsi. Michelle Davignon. Alyssa Deaton. Zachary Diulio. Amanda Davis. Stephen Domini. La Quinta Elam. Jonathan Irich. Patrice Frazier. Mary Godala. Benjamin Gerhardt. Brendan Gillens. Jennifer Goot. Robin Hagler. Ali Harrison. Dustin Hayden. Skyler Hendricks. Shannon Horns. David Johnson. Ryan Knowles. Takara Lofton. Christopher Lovings. Diana Mansfield. David Martin. 
John Martin. Lisa Morer. Zach Moon. Sterling Nash. Aaron Neal. Megan Phillips. Catherine Picciano. Raul Reyes. Tanai Ricks. James Riley. Tina Smith. Craig Burton. Lauren Timmons. Brandon Tripp. Eric Truitt. Christopher Vivallo. Casey Washington. Donald Wilkins. Nuvanka Wilson. Brandy Woodard. Corey Anderson. Andrew Baston. Casey Bowen. Philip Borgatti. Enrique Boturao. Sharon Bradish. Omar Bradley. Ashley Brown. Sierra Brown. Jadeen Brown. Robbie Bryant. Kendra Burke. John Messi. Lauren Bird. Tiffany Parker Campbell. Andrew Carey. Kiara Cavajon. Brandon Daniels. Danielle Danke. Drew Dixon. Stephen Dyer.
Andrea Edwards. Maxine Evans. Tanisha Fulmer. Jonathan Gilmore. Lauren Godwin. Rihanna Gidry. Benjamin Hagler. Rachel Harper. Tiara Harris. Javaria Hassan. Shaquina Henry. Andrew Hernandez. Karen Harrington. Jennifer Hicks. Jennifer Horton. Matthew Howard. Ethan Jafari. Ashton Jenkins. Ashley Jenkins. Jennings, Ashley Jennings, sorry. Alejandro Jimenez. Luis Jimenez. Renee Johnson. Starkita Johnson. Lawrence Joyner. Jonathan Jones. Olivia Jones. Scott Kesterson. Candace Kitchens. Douglas Lord. Bianca Machado. Valencia Macon. Andre Manning. Angela Massey. Brittany Mead. Daniel Meadows. Charles Milton. Jamal Milton. Ronald Nobles. Crystal Oakley. Stephen Palmer. Amanda Parker. Angeli Patitucci McCockerty.
Greer Peel. Michael Pendergrast. Gregory Pittard. Jennifer Pullman. Rashawn Rayford. Walter Richardson. Jason Rickard. Shane Rodeker. Victoria Rodriguez. Jason Salgado. Keith Scott. David Silver. Brianna Stafford. Andrew Steyer. Alicia Sweat. Emily Swindle. Shannon Swint. Ashley Tate. Randy Thomas. Jason Treffs. Jeremy Turpin. Robert Tooten. Latoya Walker. Colden Watkins. Evan Watson. Brianna Wiley. Corey Wilkins. Alicia Williams. Amber Young. Emily Allen. Michael Baker, Jr. Kayla Baston. Brittany Berry. Latasha Buckman. Veronica Burnett. Melissa Canis. Ansley Carter. Mackenzie Carver. Valerie Champion Simmons. Amanda Chernick. Shannon Cohen. Melissa Kugler.
Megan Cook. Vicki Crickenberger. Catherine Daly. Nakira Dees. Jessica DeFour. Delicia Dennis. Aubrey Dowd. Destiny Echoes. Joa Evans. Shannon Fultz. Chaz Glick. Kaisha Graham. Carly Kane. Clifford Hancock, Jr. Christina Hawkins. Brooke Hendricks. Ashley Holloway. Khadijah Huff. Lindsay Jones. Jamesia Jordan. Paige Kerr. Ashley Lewis. Jacqueline Loungeway. Chase Lowther. Laura Lusk. Amy Martinello. Anna Matthews. Brooke Merritt. Courtney Mori. Layton Moss. Victoria Neal. Kellen O'Neill. Carissa Parrish. Tedrick Patterson. Catherine Piggott. Christopher Powell. Sarah Beth Powell. Tiana Powell. Mary Alice Pulliam. Leland Reddy the third. Gabrielle Reed. Mandy Reese. Amy Resendez Martinez.
Holly Reif. Brandy Rollins. Ashley Samples. Nadia Samuels. Tracy Sanborn. Sarah Shepard. Kimberly Spicer. Mary Beth Sutton. Tiffany Tatum. Samantha Turner. Chris Tyler. Tian Vu. Carrie Walker. Barbara Wedden. Lauren Weatherby. Aaron Whitfield. Megan Wingler. Lauren Carvai. Michelle Dye. Tracy Fields. Marlena Harris. Deanna Hill. Heather Hughes. Candace Colbert. La Scotia Marshall. Giovanni Morose. Andrew on you, Frack. Lauren Rice. Michael Rowe. Michael Soma. Adrian Travis. Katie Tucker. Jacob Watson. Scott Ball. Zachary Bradley. Lauren Deloche. Jacob Garn. Orion Palmer. Brandon Rowland. Ernest Anderson, Jr.
Kelly Brooks. Michael Cameron. Katie Harris. Catherine Pope. Emily Aceves. Rose Allmeter. Bintu Ba. Shanika Boatner. Ebony Brown. Rico Brown. Cassie Carroll. Amber Cheek. Ashley Cole. Caitlin Coda. Holly Miller. Grant Nichols. Angel Sims. Ashley Taylor. Glenn Tillman. Rachel Veal. Anthony Williams. Ashley Boynton. Jennifer Brandon. Dorian Bus Campbell. Trakila Clark. Julie Dunn. Christy Flowers. Whitney Green. Maria Harris. Janice Henson. Sharita Johnson. Crystal Jones. Angelique Jordan. Hannah Kim. Lydia Lanier. Kanisha Laughlin. Kristen Lee. Jessica Liu. Katerina Lloyd. Jessica Newsom. Knock Win.
Katherine Parks. Katanya Parks. Kimberly Parrish. Crystal Sams. Natasha Scott. Michael C. Elizabeth Dariso. Myung Sun Shin. Katie D. Schuster. Natalia Smallwood. Donald Strong. Blake Sutton. Anna Marie Varada. Ryan Wallace. Ariel Williams. Nicole Williams. Brittany Hudson. Will all candidates for all degrees now please rise again? Thank you. Mr. President, Mr. President, academic deans, faculty members, and I present to you our candidates for academic degrees from Augusta State University. All right, now this is kind of it. Ladies and gentlemen of the graduating classes, we've enjoyed having you as our students for a few years. We'll enjoy having you as our alumni for the rest of your lives. And so now, with much honor and a great deal of pride in what you have accomplished, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University System of Georgia, I confer upon each of you the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereunto. Let us applaud all of our new graduates. You may sit down. You may sit down and I will 
because we are almost at the end of this ceremony. And I'd like to explain how we bring it to a close. First, as soon as I step away from this lectern, uh, Dr. Bill Hobbins will step behind it again. And he'll lead us all in the singing of All Hail Augusta State. All Hail Augusta State is our alma mater song. The, the words are printed in your program. So find them and get ready to sing. It's a great song. It, it evokes the military history of our campus, and in its words, we commit to keeping the inspiration of college with honor high and true. And as we conclude the singing of the alma mater, Dr. Lily Johnson, one of our faculty marshals and a 1971 ASU alumna, will take the university mace and lead the platform party from the stage and down the aisle. Our faculty members and then our graduates will join the recessional and file down after the platform party. Now, before, before we begin to sing the alma mater and then the recessional, let me say again to all of our graduates how very proud I am of you. Best wishes to all of you. God bless all of you. Do well, do good. Thank you so much for being our students. Guarded by armaments of yore, now aged oak sublimely bespeak a lofty lore. All hail, Augusta State, our voices now. And peace enshrines thy name. The flag unfurled above thee adds glory to thy fame. All hail, Augusta State, our voices now we raise to give thee all my sons and daughters who pass thy portals through will keep thy inspiration with honor high and true. All hail Augusta State, our voices now we Fervent love and praise. 